Okay. Uh, this is uh, savings for retirement. So, um, we're going to go through three different calculations. First is how much do I need to save to reach my savings goal? You know, how much? So you would like to save in thousand dollars by the time you're 50 years old. If you're currently 30, how much do you need to save monthly, quarterly, annually to reach your savings goal? If you expect your 457 plan to earn a 9% APR, so so what this is asking for is three calculations. Monthly, quarterly, and annually. So, monthly. So, yeah. So you've got 20 years, 50 minus 30. So, n is 20 times 12. It's 240. And IY is 9 divided by 12. And that's 0.75. Always remember, uh, for monthly, if you're going to be multiplying the years times 12 and the, dividing the rate by 12. So PV is zero. The problem doesn't mention the beginning balance. Uh, and, uh, future value is your saving goal, say $100,000. And then compute payment. That is come out as a negative, right? Eleven hundred and ninety-seven dollars and eighty-one cents. So uh, that's a monthly calculation. So quarterly. So all we have to do is adjust n and i y. So n is twenty times four. Four quarters in a year, so that's 80. I Y is 9 divided by 4, that's 2.25. Then we compute payment, and that is uh, $3,651.01. One thing to notice here is uh, uh, the uh, as your number well, if we go from right to left here, the uh, the amount of the payment is going to decrease. So even if we multiply this uh, monthly payment by three, it's still less than this payment, and that is because of compounding, and it'll be even more noticeable when we do the uh, uh, annual calculation. So, so annual, just n equal to 20, i, y is 9, and compute payment. That is 15,000. Six hundred thirty-seven dollars and eighteen cents. So, so what we notice, uh, you see in the true benefits of compounding here. So uh, basically, twelve hundred for so, so so that'd be twenty-four hundred. Uh, right. I'm just thinking out loud. So the uh, so this would be in the neighborhood of fourteen thousand deposit. This obviously is more than fourteen thousand. So uh, we'll wait a see a few minutes. So, next problem. So what rate does my investment need to earn to reach my savings goal? So you deposit one hundred seventy-five dollars a month into your four hundred three b. Plan to continue for the next thirty years. What APR do uh, do I need to earn to reach my same goal of a million dollars? So the N is this is monthly, so it's thirty times twelve, three sixty. The uh, PV is zero, no balance mentioned here. 
payment is the 375. Need to enter that as a negative. And future value is 1 million. So compute IY. And we get. Nine zero. You know, many of these numbers have. You know, this is just that I have my calculator set to display two decimals. But, uh, the one thing to this, since we did this calculation, based on months, that's a monthly calculation. So we need to annualize it, multiply by twelve, and that is ten point seven seven percent. Very much like the uh, calculations that we did with, uh, you know, with add on interest and discount loans. So the same type, same process. So, next calculation. So, how much will I have in my account? We've actually already done this for this semester. Uh, so, you deposit uh, 500 a month. And 401k. How much will be in your account after 25 years if you earn your 401k earns a 6% APR? So, n is 25 times 12. I y 6 divided by 12.5. So, uh, PB again is 0. Payment. That's 500. That's a negative. We compute. Future value, and we get uh, three hundred and forty-six thousand four hundred ninety-six dollars and ninety-eight cents. We think about our previous calculations, and this gives you a, an idea of how how important that the the rate of return is. Uh, you need to earn a significant rate of return if you're going to accumulate. A significant amount of money. Uh, for example, so if this was if this was thirty years instead of twenty five. Our n would be thirty times twelve, three sixty, and then compute PV. Sorry, PV, and that's five oh two two fifty seven fifty two. So 502, 257.52. Write it again. So remember our other uh, other calculation, the with the 375, I believe. So, um, so we're back here to reach eight hundred thousand dollars in twenty years. We had what to put eleven. Almost twelve hundred dollars, and in, in, uh, but uh, we were able to achieve that with a higher rate. Obviously, they uh, but back here is a better conservative comparison. But three hundred seventy-five dollars a month over thirty years, and eleven percent APR got us a million dollars. Where uh, five hundred dollars a month for thirty years, six percent only got us to. Significant, really significant difference with regard to how much you end 